welcome to another episode of Wrestling with Worldwide Willis. This podcast is brought to you by the LMG Podcast Network, League of Melanated Gentlemen, for those that don't know. And today, I have my guy back, L. Laveris. What up, man? What's up, man? Good to be back here, man. Yes, sir. Uh, today, folks, we're going to give you a, a quick breakdown. It's not going to be as long. Um, we're actually working on a potential episode coming up. We have a, we're going to give out our awards for the year, so we're working on that as well. But this one is dedicated to NXT Deadline, uh, which is the last uh, PLE of the year. It just occurs, occurred this past Saturday. So, uh, yeah, we'll get a quick breakdown of our thoughts and everything and uh, what the ramifications will be towards, you know, um, the future PLEs they have. You know, they have Stand Deliver and they have one in the middle. What was it, like Evil something? Yeah, New Year's Evil. New Year's Evil, yeah, that's right. Um, and so, yeah, we'll see what the ramifications are. And we had a few comebacks, so we'll, we'll talk about that as well. Um all right, El. Um, you watched the kickoff show. I missed the kickoff show. Um, Axiom versus Nathan Fraser. You got to see that. So, what did you think about that one? That was a really fast pace uh, mm-hmm. match. A lot of higher flying, of course, because both of them right normally do that. Yeah, had some a lot of spots where it was hard hitting. Mm-hmm. It was just they were just going right, and it was the crowd was loving it because it was fast paced. Because crowd was really into that match. Mm. I didn't think they were because it's right. a kickoff show. Right. But that kind of surprised me how much they were into it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the end of it, Axiom was, you know, the winner gotcha. of it. Now, one thing at the end, I thought that Nathan Frazier was going to hit him after the handshake because he put Ooh. his hand up there for respect. Yeah. And he slapped his hand away and got up and, you know, that, you know, kind of yeah. did a handshake hug thing. Right. I thought he turned his back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for Nathan Frazier to be like, you know what? F this. <laughs> I'm done with this. Right. Like, I was waiting. They, they, the camera even leaned into it. So I was like, oh, here it comes. Yeah. It went to, it went to the to the commercial. I was like, oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a heel run. I mean, yeah, Nathan Frazier seems like a, you know, white hot baby face. You know, yeah. I don't. But I know with his, like, new show or like what is that that sh- gimmick he was doing there for a little bit where he was like a you know ran a little show on NXT oh yeah yeah like that was kind of interesting like his his character work was kind of interesting I could kind of met they went away from that but um but no I, I I could I don't know the character work was good enough to where I could, I'm like okay maybe he could be a heel but right now I'm like I don't know his wrestling style is not heel worthy you know what I mean a lot of flippity, flippity stuff. It's usually not a heel. Um, but, all right. Um, so, we'll move on to the main card. In the first match, we had Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus Before Dragon. Before the Luke. first match, you forgot what happened. What? Oh, CM of course. I forgot, yeah. That man, the cult of <laughs> personality. Boy, they they using him like, hey, boy, right. they ringing that thing up <laughs> out of here, aren't they? Bro, they using him like they know the shot clock's running down. They're like, no, we're getting every ounce of you out of this, yeah. every drip <laughs> of the dollar. Like, we're getting all this money, and all these years you ain't been here, we're going we gonna to get all of it back. Yep. Getting all this merch, all these appearances, yep. Um, It was funny because that, that was, like, awkward but funny. Like, it was awkward only because you could – like they literally were like, yeah, we forgot our lines, but boy, they did. Yeah, like blatantly forgot their lines, but then they ad libbed really well, and it was funny. Um, and then just to see them two together was interesting as well. We haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, um, they don't like each other either. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, Sean was one of the f- main ones who was like, yeah, we welcome back, welcome him back. You know what I mean? Like we have no problem with them. And, you know, some of the other people were like, ah, no comment or uh, that's kind of not my decision or blah, blah, blah. But Sean was like, Shit, yeah, it was like, like I don't, you know what I mean? So uh, so it was interesting to have that. But that was dope. Crowd loved it. Um, Especially when he's tell, talking about, hey, you and you and Brent made up. Me and Hunter made up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> it was a really yeah, he, that was funny. Like I didn't even notice the hoodie until HBK pointed it out. I, was like, I didn't oh. either because I was like, "What's he?" I was like, "Oh, okay, I was like, okay." See, I'm playing. Dang, dude. Yeah, I know, right? You just had <laughs> to wear that on an NXT show. You know, and you you know you're showing up to. That's funny, right? Um, but yeah, it was just funny. They lost. They forgot their lines and just went with it, and it worked. But um, that definitely got the crowd hyped up. Um, but yeah, we had in the North America Championship match. We had do this is this match occurred. It was supposed to be Wesley versus uh, Dominic, but Wesley got hurt, unfortunately. Uh, so Dragon Lee is taking his place due to a selection by Rey Mysterio. But Dirty Dominic Mysterio defending his title against Dragon Lee. What did you think about this one? Is it me? Or it felt like he got squashed? Like Dirty Dom? Yeah. Ooh, I, I didn't get the squash vibes. Like, when you kind of look back and watch this match, he was getting his ass with the majority of this whole match. Yeah, I could sort of. So I feel like Dom was kind of dominating at the beginning. Um, he hit him with a few things, but then yeah, most it was funny because like he hit him with the first like on the which was crazy like on the side where Dom was like hanging and he jumped and like you know stepped on him and they yeah. fell off the side of the ring. I was like oh, okay, and then they did it again in the ring. I thought the one in the ring he was going to reverse or do something about, and they right. did. Yeah. Um, it was like after a while, he was getting his stuff in. Yeah. And I was like, okay, Dom going to come back right. and make this a little even. But it never got even. And it right. threw me off. Yeah. And I, I was, I wasn't, I was like, oh, I could see the Judgment Day coming, but I could also see them not. Um, I was a little, um, I mentioned this on Twitter, but I didn't love the finish just because he hit him with his finisher. Like his finisher is that power bomb, what I've seen. Yeah. Um, um, now this finisher he did where he kind of kind of like when they do the Hurricane Rhino, but this time he like does a slam on, on the backside and like I, I don't know it looked cool but I was just like you could tell the crowd was like oh I did I wasn't expecting that to be the I wasn't finisher. expecting that right yeah like I was like one two three oh okay like <laughs> It was like it kind of disrupted the celebrate crowd celebration because everybody was like, "Whoa!" I didn't think that was gonna. That didn't even feel like a finisher, you know? No, because I thought I was like, "Oh, that's two. and I was like, "Oh!" Like I almost texted you immediately when I saw it. I was like, "Yeah, was that rushed?" Yeah, it felt low key in my head first. I was like, "Was he supposed to not? Was he supposed to kick out?" But then the way Dom stayed on the ground and kind of looked like was selling being hurt, I was like, "Oh, okay, so he must." It was just a weird transition, but he he wasn't supposed to kick out. He was supposed to – Dragon Lee was supposed to go over. But, I mean, this does make you think, like, Wesley probably was going to go over in this match if he would have stayed healthy. Yeah. Sucks, man. Really does. Um, first, what do you think? I didn't know that that was a shoot or a work, his injury, until later. I was like, oh, yeah. Fine. Yeah, it's tough, man. It's, with the short – short like turnaround of it it was like oh okay that seems very you know usually you would do that a couple weeks out or like a week out before but he just won he'd been talking about it forever and then he can't go anymore it's like oh okay that seems legit um yeah. but what do you think this does for both people what do you see for going for for dom what do you see going for for dragon lee for dragon lee i am not for sure mm-hmm like I don't know if that belt is gonna if he's gonna do the same thing that Dom did, or if yeah. he's strictly back on NXT. It sounds like he's he's like doing a Dom type of deal. Because if they do the Dom thing, I'm actually okay with that. I actually yeah. like that. Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. But that's the part with him. I'm trying to figure out. Like, okay. Because you still got some storylines of Dragon Lee and and uh, Ray and all of them coming up yep. soon in the next few months anyway. Right, right. Now, the one I really want to figure out is, okay, what does Mommy think about Dom losing? Even though yeah. she tweeted that out, that I'm proud of you. Okay, you already got some 
sprinkle in here and there of Judgment Day or which way they about to go. Right. So it's like, is this a start of it? Like, okay, you don't have a belt. So you don't have no say. Like, Right. I can definitely see that. I mean, yeah, with Dom, I think he'll be fine, but it definitely, like you said, like we're going to be interested to see Monday how is going to start, you know, maneuvering him around. Is he going to maybe challenge for – some people were saying he's going to challenge Gunther. I'm like, they're not going to have two heels going against each other, and they're not going to turn, turn Gunther babyface. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like I, I just don't – I don't see that happening. That's um, not unbelievable. No, not at all. It isn't. And I'm just like, I, I can see him just going without his title for a little bit and then maybe finding a new a new rivalry with the baby face. They have, they have a bunch of a bunch of baby faces on Raw. Um and then Dragon Lee, like you said, like I think it'll be a Dom situation where he carries the belt around, wrestles on SmackDown, has some good matches, maybe even defends it a few times on SmackDown. And it uh, gives it a little bit of extra exposure. And then I think That'll happen maybe one or two months, and then they'll eventually have him lose it to some NXT exclusive guy, uh, so it can kind of stay on NXT. Because it's, I mean, it's, they've done a good job of exposing it to the big crowd, main crowd. Yeah, now it's, it's, yeah, now it's probably time to bring it back to the to the NXT brand exclusively for a little bit. It ain't got to be forever, but right. Um, but okay, that was a fun match. Um, Really excited. I, I, I'm really excited about I think Dom's just been – we'll talk about it in our awards, but his, his ability in the ring has gotten a lot better. Yeah. Um, and then Dragon Lee's pretty good himself. Um, and then the next match – just and L, remind me if I get anything wrong. The next match is the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. Is that yep. correct? Okay. Um, Iron Survivor Challenge, really fun match concept. We had Tiffany Stratton. Versus Lash Legend versus Blair Davenport versus Kalani Jordan versus Fallon Henley. And the winner of this match is guaranteed to be the number one contender for the for the women's NXT championship uh, by Lara Valkyria. Um so what do you think about this one? This to me, this was a really fun match. Like, is this the first this is not the first time they did this, right? No, they did it last year, yeah. Because this is the first, I guess the first time I paid attention to this challenge. Mm, yeah. Hey, <clears throat> I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the first time like they did it in lot. the... This is the first time, because last time they did it, they did it in the regular NXT building. It was a fun yeah. match. It just didn't have the... You know what I mean? The crowd was going crazy, but it just wasn't the same. You know what I mean? This is the first right. one in a big crowd. So, no, you're right. Yeah, I like, man... It was mayhem everywhere, man. Yeah, it really was. Then also, Lash Legend. Boy, they better day. Hey, they need to go ahead and start sprinkling. Sean Moxley start sprinkling that that good stuff on her and yeah. let her do her thing pretty soon. Right. I agree. I agree. She's she's having her moment right now. Like the Otis, Otis thing. Uh, it was funny, and then obviously the body slam gave her a boost of momentum, and then this she showed out in this match like that dang choke slam, right? That's yeah, like, that choke slam looked amazing, right? When she first, I was like, whoa, whoa, okay, yeah, right. Um, because I saw her in NXT a couple. It was like man, I can figure out who she did it against. Maybe it was Roxanne, but she did the choke slam into the power bomb. I was like, ooh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I prefer her just regular choke slam because that was good too. Yeah, that but was good. but yeah, I like the way they built the match. I thought I like the pace of the match, and then the way they built it to where when when Lash came in the, came into the match, she just came in wrecking wrecking everybody. Like she had talked about how I'm the was the bougie bully or something like that, where she just yeah you know, punks all the little girls. So she came in there and just started body slamming girls. And it was like, damn, the pump kick is nice. I was like, yo, you yeah, must have been like, working with Sheamus or something. Yeah, I was thinking like, okay, Lash, okay. Yeah. Like yeah, even uh, Kalani Jordan. Yep. She was showing out. I wish she, she would at least got at least got one point, though. I know. I, I felt like they didn't give her enough. I felt like it was... 
like they didn't even show her normal like i was like okay she does this normal she does this spot she does every match i've ever seen where she goes around the ropes goes to the ropes kind of does a twirl through the ropes kind of like Rey mysterio low-key yeah. Um and then comes back. I was like, oh, okay, they're gonna do that spot. They're gonna do a few other spots that she just always has done in every clip I've ever seen of her on like level up or anything. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, she didn't really get she got the 450 splash, which was dope, but like they didn't give her a ton of time. I'm like, why not? Like she's the one high flyer. I mean, Tiffany is up there, but Tiffany's more not as much of a high flyer as Kehlani is. Like why would why not give her more moments? You know what I'm saying? Like viral moments. You know, just yeah. feel like she didn't get that. I, I was know. surprised that Tiffany only got at one point. Yeah. Okay. So Tiffany did the. I'm trying to remember, did she get the roll up or was? She... Uh, a... I don't know if it was a roll up or not. I don't remember. I don't remember her move to even get it. Like. Obviously, Lash, I saw her do get her two. And then um, I was impressed with Fallon Henley. I really like Fallon I Henley. was, too. Yeah, She's growing on me. She's growing on Her promo is really good. And then her skill in the ring is really good. Um, she impressed me. I Blair Davenport, I'm, I'm a fan. I think she, she can go. Um, you can definitely see, like, why she was over in Japan and why she was killing it in all these different places. Um, but yeah, I I think Tiffany Lash and then Fallon kind of stood out the most to me. Again, I wish Kalani got a little bit more. She was kind of yeah. like the rookie who has to take some pins, who has to eat some pins. Yeah, she she was eating some pins for sure. I was Bruh, like, dang. She, she was in that penalty box uh, consistently. I was like, damn. <laughs> if it wasn't for Lash Legend being another black person, I was about to say, "Hey, Sean, what are you doing, dude?" <laughs> exactly, like this is like, a little hey. sus, my boy. <laughs> like you looking a little, little awkward, man. Like... Right, right. <laughs> no, nah, bro, that was dope. I really like the the spot where um, Tiffany Stratton is in uh, Fallon Henley are in the penalty box. They other um, metaphors like blocking the the. Out of the oh, exit, yeah. yeah. So they jump up top and they jump out of there. Like that was really cool onto the table and stuff. That was really cool. That was a good spot. And yeah, man, I just, spot. I just feel like NXT is just, just so creative. Like I feel like that's what main roster low key be watching NXT matches and be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna use that. Like I, I think that's what they do, honestly. Um, and I actually got the time and. The personnel to do it now, and not yeah. somebody watching over their back and telling them what to do. Exactly, and yeah, man, the, the women's division is loaded. Like the fact that this, like, if you name if if I ask somebody name the top women on NXT women's division, Tiffany Stratton would obviously be there. But like yeah. Lyle Valkyria, um, Core J, like a few Roxanne of, Perez, Roxanne Perez, like there's a uh, Kid James, like there's a few women that are not in this match that and this match still hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how deep the roster is. You know? And yeah, man, this this is a really good match. Um I, I had a good time with it. Um oh I guess we should do this. Um for Axiom versus Nathan Fraser, what would you what score would you give that out of five? Oh I say about a three. Three? Okay. Okay. Uh what about Dominic and Dragon Lee? I give that about I give it about a two and a half. I say about yeah, about a good two and a half. Yeah. Um this Iron Survivor Challenge, I'd probably give it I probably give it a I give it a four. I give it I'm a about four. to say I'll say a four on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Just I give because it a, Kalani should have got some more in. Yeah, exactly. Like I was thinking three and a half, but I was like Actually, like the crowd was really into it. It it, it hit. They really were. Yeah, and the I, I didn't love the finish, but I get the reason why you would do it, right? Like Blair's seeing her demise. She's looking at the clock. Last Legends coming back in. She's like, hell no! Like I'm running away from this girl. <laughs> yeah, like you know what? Uh, uh-uh, we ain't, ain't doing all this. So I'm yeah. Out. 
So that was, yeah, that was I was very res- smart though. Yeah, exactly. I respected that they acted like wrestlers are smart, which I like. Yeah. I like that people are smart enough to use strategies. Like, because like back in the day of Vince's day, they she would have just walked up to Lash Legend and got choke slammed and lost, you know. Um, but yeah, oh, I give that. Yeah, a four. they were doing something stupid or something. yeah. She was just turning around, huh? And then got pump kick right in the mouth. Right. Like, <laughs> One, two, three, right before the, the buzz. Yeah. Like, you'd be like, why wouldn't you just run away? Your time is, yeah. you know. <laughs> you got five seconds. Get your butt out that ring right now. Exactly. She can't catch you in five seconds um, and pin you. You know what I mean? Right. Um, okay. And then our next match, we had Carmelo Hayes versus Lexus King. Um, This one. It wasn't it wasn't memorable at all to be honest. No. Um, yeah, it honestly one of Melo's worst matches for me. And I don't necessarily think it's his fault, but And that's yeah, I don't I don't think it was either. Right. But I don't necessarily want to blame Lexus King for that either. Exactly. Like it just seemed like they kind of got put in a tough spot just because the storyline is great. But if the storyline is more trick, and so these two it was like, yeah, we love Melo, but like nothing really happened from it. Like he didn't change, he didn't turn heel in this. So it was just like this could have been a you know a Tuesday match. Like what I was waiting to see, because you know they got the NXT anonymous thing that keeps popping yeah. up. Yeah. I was waiting to see them pop up another video on that Jumbotron. Yeah, that would have been good. That's that like good. that's why I was waiting to see. I was like, okay, we're in a video. Like, we yeah. got to further this story. Right. Okay, like, who really whooped Trick's ass? Like, who, who did it? Right, yeah. No, that's facts. I mean, it would have been nice to extend the story that night. Like, obviously, he said he didn't do it. Like, he used them to get a get a match on the PLE, which is smart. I'm glad they showed that. That was smart. But, uh, yeah, if they would have had an anonymous right after that, that would have left people going, ooh, like, what is Trick? How does Trick feel about this? Is this going to affect his match? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Right. Um, So, yeah, it's, yeah. But I'd give it about a two. Uh, Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that. Um and then next we had was it the men's? Yeah, it was the men's. Okay. Men's Iron Survivor Challenge. We had Dijak versus Whoop That Trick, Trick Williams. Um Josh. Yeah, Briggs. man. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> versus Josh <laughs> Briggs versus Brown Breaker versus Tyler Bate. Um How'd you feel about this one? I love this. Yeah. Boy. I was about to question Shawn Michaels again. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I was looking at that clock like, I wish you would, man. <laughs> like, I'm about to say, I wish you would give, do this, give us do the goose egg right now. Don't you man. do this to us right now. Bro, I was about this crowd, to start. You got this crowd under him. Like, he yes. has them in, the, in his hands right now. Right. And he about to lay a goose egg? Right. And he's eating pins left and right. <laughs> Bro, consistently. I'm like, hey, hold on. I'm like, hold on now. Like, like chicken just is... got back in. Yeah, chicken is ass whooped. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, how's he? I was like, can we get one point? Can... Right. Tom, can we get one? Like, right. And that that was my only critique was like, I just wish his I wish his three wins. Out of the four weren't roll ups. Like I wish he would have caught people with the knee. Like catch a couple of people with the knee. You know, like I don't want him to all, like two of them could be roll ups, but you just wanna you wanna convey that all right, this dude can hit you at any moment and can knock you out. Or yeah. you know what I mean? He can catch you slipping. And well the, this, the last one was his finisher, uh. Yeah, yeah. The last one he got that one. But it was just like three roll ups and then you get a finish, it's like ah, that's tough. You know, yeah, but it worked. It definitely worked. Um, yeah, uh, the Brown Breaker, man. Sheesh. Boy, that dude came out like he was like Goldberg, uh, man, uh, 
Braun Strowman. Right. Uh, who else is it? Like, I don't know. It, like, he came out like, this is mine. Yeah, he got like, three in the 10 seconds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he spilled like, he said, he's spilling everybody. Right. Bro, and they, yeah, he got the baddest spear in the game for sure. Oh, Easy. I'm I'm glad they finally stopped spray painting his face with that beard. Oh man, bro! I, I, sometimes I'll be like, bro, you got to get a new barber. Yeah, like, somebody, whoever's cutting you up in Florida, right? Knock they it playing off. you. They are playing you right now. I'm like, bro, get your right. fa- look, get your little taper. Like, just to right. look. And who is painting <laughs> on your face? Right. I'm like, bro, you you need a taper fade. You got to stop painting. Because right now you look like you got that like default character when you're trying to create a player. You give him that beard, <laughs> that default beard. <laughs> you give him beard number two. Yeah, beard number two, <laughs> where it's like like jet black, like like the darkest of black you could ever con- like come up with. And the dude's hair is like dark brown or something. You yeah, like, it's like bro, brown? Yeah. yeah. Like, like, no, no fit. Yeah, this is obviously not hair, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, like you got drawn on. So, yeah, yeah. man. They... When I saw that, I got excited. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, bro. Give him a brother. Give him, let him visit Mello's uh, barbershop or something. Yeah, uh, he did. Yeah. I was like, excited about that. No, nah, he came in. He had a really good performance. I was. I was a little surprised he was in this match just because obviously Braun Breaker's reached a level to where he could do really anything in NXT. He really should be on the main roster, but I see why they're kind of delaying it. But uh, but now he added a dominance to it, and uh, Dijak is always great. Josh Briggs was interesting. Him and Dijak's interactions were cool. Yeah, uh, definitely big meaty man. <laughs> big meaty me. slapping me. Yep, facts. Um. Tyler Bate, good performance. He got a lot of a lot of pinfalls. He um, really did. I was happy for that. I was like, same. don't you have the shortest dude up Man. in here? <laughs> got like a one point or something. And yeah. No, don't we do let's not do that. Sean, right. you short too, homie. Right, yeah. I mean, like Tyler Bate, yeah, man. i there's I guess there's rumblings that he's gonna be called up, but I've heard that for the last year. You know what I mean? Um he should be on SmackDown or Raw, like easily. Um, the dude can go and he's like just fun to root for. Like yeah. He's picking up dudes twice his size, you know what I mean? Um but yeah. And bro, I bro, Mustache Mountain used to be my favorite freaking oh tag. Oh my gosh. Yeah, with the mustache. The mustache bro, bro. Doing that. Oh man. Bro, that and music slap. an impact now. Yeah, man. I'm like, Trent Seven, man, he got us. Why'd he leave NXT? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I think he actually got released, but he got released. Yeah, man. I was like, damn. It threw bro. Me off. I was like, why'd you release? Was that a that was, that was back when Vince was there, right? Yeah, that was. That was like pandemic era. Yeah. Releases. That's my thing is, bro, if they would have kept that mustache man on the main roster, would have ate, bro. The fans would have been wild for them. Yeah, like, they would have been. I'm surprised AEW <laughs> didn't keep him. Like, yeah, I'm surprised too. I think it's like, it's, were, they, were they doing that? Oh yeah, use WWE. We're gonna take you and kind of yeah. put, put you in their face and right. I'll do nothing with you. I think that was part of it because I mean, without Tyler Bate at this point, you know, Trent is kind of older, but them together it works still. Like, bro, I remember watching Mustache Mountain versus DIY. Bro, them, them them NXT matches were fire. Um, yeah, they were. so good. That was like Tyler Bray when he was a baby. Yeah, um, when he had that <laughs> but, long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was excited. I'm glad. I'm hoping to see Tyler Bray move up. He's he's definitely been it. He either needs to move up or win some titles. One of the two needs yeah. to have. Because uh, they be holding stop them all. going for him and actually win something. Yes, he needs to hold the title. Like I would love to see a Dragon League Tyler Bay match where Tyler wins. You know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be cool. I would, I would like to see that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we had a steel cage match with Roxanne Perez versus Kiana James. What did you think about that one? Cage match. Yeah. 
the build up was good, but cage matches was always weird to me. Mm. Like, what can you do that I haven't seen before? Right. To make me like, oh, it's a cage match. They're about to fight in the cage. Right. Yeah, it's true. Very like, hard to do. It's hard to do. Yeah. Like, like, and I already know it's gonna be some. Dist- somebody's gonna pop up here and distract somebody. Yep. And and beat them. Like, yeah. That's a WWE mo. Like, yeah. You know what's coming. It's just like, who's it gonna be? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the only thing with that to me. It was like, it was okay. Yeah, definitely okay. The 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 reveal of the help and the cheating. It was like, okay, this is okay. I thought Roxanne and Keanu um, did a solid job in the ring. Like the ring work was good. It was just no, the ring work was was good. Yeah, it was just you know the stipulation kind of held the match back a little bit. Like if it was a street fight, you'd be like, oh, okay. He could do more, and we've shown Roxanne has shown that she can hang in a street fight with Blair Davenport and everybody. So, right. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to get your score for the men's Iron Man Iron Survivor Challenge. I give that about. A, I give that a four. Yeah, I do that too. It was um, definitely to me. It was, I feel like the women's was better, but I also. I did like that there were a lot of pinfalls in this men's one. Yeah, um, it was boy, people's getting eating up pins like crazy. Right. Like you had to get four to win the whole thing. Um and obviously Trick winning it was the right decision to me. Yeah. Um uh, the crowd the crowd was all in, man. It was, it was crazy. Um the crowd that and, trick. And, and Booker T. Yeah, and Booker T. Facts. He has an element to it. Um and then for the Roxanne and Kiana match, what score did you give on that one? Um, I give it two. Yeah, I, I give it two and a half, two and a half maybe. Um, oh, we I gotta the, say, I forgot. Uh, Easy Dane came and distracted. Yeah, yeah, that's in that cage match. Man. Yeah, Easy Dane came in to help Kiana James. Uh, win the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully they run that back in, like, a better stipulated match. That'd be fun. Uh, and then we have our main event, Ilya Dragunov. Mad Dragon versus Baron Mad Corbin. Dragon. Baron Corbin. How does this man end up in title matches over and over and over again? I have no clue. But, but the dude been performing. He has. I'll give him that. I'll give you that. That's what's that's what throwing me off. <laughs> like he's he's getting his. That's hey, we got to give it up to Baron Corbin. Like no, it's facts. It's facts. That match was better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, no, it was a lot of Ilya, but Baron, like in the ring, Baron can hang with anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when he That's we be in them them deep sixes, I'll be like, damn. Yeah. Um. But no, nah, that was a fun – probably shouldn't have been the main event, but I get why it's the main event. Um, like, if you would have replaced this and had this – well, I guess if you would have had this in the middle of the card, do Ro- Roxanne next, and then do the Men's Survivor Challenge, I'd be like, oh, okay, I see why. Like, in the show, yeah. on like, Trick Williams win, okay, you know. But, yeah, um, you know, it was a fun main event. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Ilya is just racking up really good matches, bro. That dude don't ever have a bad match. When he hugged Baron Corbin, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, "This was crazy, bro." Right, yeah, this is wild, man. Um, bro, I'll be worried about his his opponent sometimes, bro. I'll be like, "Damn, Ilya!" He, like he be hitting. Bro, he be dropping them forms just on your forehead. I'll be like, God, dog. Like me and him had to box, bro. All right, we back to this. Yeah, we got a we got a boxing backstage. Corey, he don't want them problems with Corbin, but um Yeah, because that dude does that in real life. Yeah, he's a like boxing champ. Like, um but yeah, like when he did a he did like a um Corbin was like down on the turnbuckles, like kind of laying on the last rope. 
And Ilya was like kicking him, kicking him, and then ran against the turnbuckle and then came and like slide kicked across the face. I mean, oh that was purely across his face. Like, I was like, damn. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, I know that hurt. Yes, bro. Ilya does not hold back, man. He's like Gunther level, like, does not hold back at all. Um, but no, that was a fun, that was a fun one. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to who who's next to challenge Ilya. Um, hopefully, oh yeah, well, we have. Some yeah, I'm trick. about to say it'll be Trey. Yeah. Oh man. So they, dang, they're gonna run that back again. That'd be dope. Because uh, they went against each other before. I think what fun, twice already. Yeah, they were fun matches. Um, Trick just wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Of course, but he had some good performances. I thought. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he really did. Because we mm-hmm. got we got that one, but what's going to happen with uh, Blair? Because yeah, Blair got to go up for that belt on the women's side, right? On the women's side, yep. And now we have Cora Jade. I forgot to mention Cora Jade was back. Yeah, um, and she she's interrupted. Back with, she's back with a lot of other stuff too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, facts. Um. She's back and she's claiming she wants a, a title shot. So it'll be, and then Nikki Lyons is back. So yeah. we'll see what happens with that, you know, uh, with the women's division. It's definitely, you know, like you said, like they're so deep, they didn't even need Nikki Lyons to be in this match, you know. And Nikki Lyons was on a trajectory. I think she kind of got, ex- she got exposed, overexposed, and then her weaknesses got exposed in the ring. Yeah. She got hurt, and then like I think like Lash Legends definitely passed her by. I think most women in that division passed her by. Yeah, um, but she had like an ACL injury, right? Yeah, yep. For ACL, she's been out for a minute. Um, so yeah, I, I'm definitely interested where things would go for for uh, New Year's Evil. Um, like we didn't even get a tag match or anything like that. So like, it's still a lot to. And I and I ran it back with the NXT shows the last couple of weeks. They've been really good. I didn't even think about that until you said about the tag match. That even happened. Right, yeah. So I'm like definitely interested to see. Like I watched the the family versus um Chase U. That was solid. Um I'm kinda like, damn, why they why they gotta break up Chase U, man? Like, why they gotta do this whole investigation thing? I don't know. I, was, I feel like once Chase, you finally got some momentum and won a chip. Now we got to break them up. Like, I don't get it. Um, yeah, I don't understand that either. But, all right. What, uh, what would you give this uh, main event? I'd give about a three and a half. I think I'm, I think I'm there too. Better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a strong three. It's better than I thought. Better than me. I would have gave that. that just saying that out loud, I would have said about a two and a half. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll give Ilya a little bump. It's him, That's true. But I, I would have gave, gave him all that two and a half. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts. Um, but okay. Yeah. We uh, just wanted to run through, update folks on what were our thoughts of NXT deadline. Um, it's always, again, it's always fun to see NXT getting back to wrestling in front of arenas, kind of like they did back with their takeover days. Um, you know, the week to week is fun and their, you know, performance center or whatever, but getting out there and you, that's, I feel like that's when you truly see if, uh, NXT star is really getting over or not. That's yeah. kind of same with trick. Like I was like, okay, this is going to tell me if he's really over or not with the last one. And yeah. he, he was, you know. And so it definitely tells you a lot. But uh any last thoughts, Elle, on this event? It was it was a solid pay per view, you know. A lot of things are coming up the pipeline, especially we're about to be in WrestleMania season. Yep. We'll see if anybody else is gonna pop up. Yep, that's true. A uh, lot of contracts are ending. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. And uh who knows who they could pull down from the main roster to start? You know, we had Chad Gable wrestling, you know, for oh, the yeah. Harris Cup. You know what I mean? Right. So, who knows what could happen? That's the fun thing about NXT. You never know what's going to happen week to week. Uh, shout out to Booker of the Year. Speaking of awards, uh, Shawn Michaels, most likely. 
Mm. Uh, but uh, but yeah, appreciate y'all listening. Again, hit us up on social media uh, if you have any thoughts about NXT Deadline or wrestling in general. Um, you get us up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, email, whatever. Whatever you decide, we'll hit you back. Uh, but until next time, we out. <laughs>